Good morning and welcome back to another week of training. It is Wednesday and I am on my first bike workout of the week. I just started it. I think it's like an hour or five minutes or so. So just going to be in the park the whole time, nice and easy. Well, it's not going to be easy, I guess, but the route will be. Just finished the workout. It was an hour and five minutes. So I am cruising back home. That one was good today. I did a little over 19 miles. It's so nice when I don't have to like stop and go a lot. But my average miles per hour was like 17 and a half, I think, which is obviously a lot better than what I did on Saturday. That's for damn sure. But yeah, I didn't film much of that one. Kind of just wanted to get it done, get it in. But it felt good. This weather lately has just been amazing. I hope I didn't just jinx it though. Then I'm gonna head home. Got a pretty busy day with work. Um, but I did get all my new nutrition, which is good. So I'll show you that when I get home. All right, so before I go to work, I wanted to show you my new, my new nutrition. It's weird putting that together, but so I ordered, cause I like this. This has been one of my favorites for a while. The performance precision fuel performance fuel precision fuel and hydration the 60 grams of carbs a thousand milligrams of sodium so it's a carb and electrolyte mix i've used it before but i needed to restock up so that's what i'll be drinking uh at least for the rest of training i'll probably be drinking that because it's been my favorite so far and then i got this huge package of gels and what it is from the feed and all it is is the spring energy gels that have, it's actually 45 grams of carbs. Yeah, 45 grams of carbs per um, gel. And it's so good. It tastes like applesauce, but it's all natural foods, I believe. Yeah, the ingredients are applesauce, basmati rice, apple juice, maple syrup, yams, lemon juice, sea salt, cinnamon, and vanilla. Um, so these have been my favorite so far. I do a lot of Martin gels as well. So I'll probably mix the Martin gels with the spring, but gonna primarily be using those for the rest of training. And then I've gotten to where like on my long bike rides, I really like enjoying to have a snack instead of just taking down gels and drinks as fuel, I'll, I wanna act, have an actual snack. Like you remember last week I had a pop tart and I actually enjoyed it. It was nice having something to actually eat. So I got like, I don't know, there's 12, actually it might be more than 12 of the Martin solid bars, the chocolate ones though, just for a nice little treat for the ride. So that's the nutrition that I got. So I should be stocked up for the rest of training. Hopefully I may have to get a few things here and there. And then another thing I got, which I actually used for my race last year was this O2 gold from Advocare. My mom originally gave it to me last year. I used it all because I actually really enjoyed it. So I just ordered some more and it just came in. Basically, it just really helps with how your body uses the oxygen. And for me, honestly, like I'm not going to get too scientific about it. But when I'm swimming or when I'm cycling or running, it just allows me to take much deeper breaths and get a lot more. Uh, my breathing is much better when I take that. Um, so that's what I've enjoyed about it. So I just got that into so Yeah, about to go to work, but wanted to show you guys that before I forgot because once I start working then I Will definitely forget it. Want to see lucky? Oh. Say hi lucky look how big this buddy's got Paul Good boy Good boy You're so good. You're so good we took him to the vet uh, last week, last Friday or so, just to do a checkup. Um, this man is 38 pounds. He's gotten huge. He's a big boy now. If you guys remember when I first brought him home a couple months ago, this was back in January. I, f I have it on film if you've seen my previous videos. He was 11 pounds, so it's crazy how fast he's grown. 
Anyways, all right, gotta go to work and I'll see you guys for tomorrow. I have a run tomorrow, so let's get it. Good morning. Today I have a little over an hour run. So I'm just gonna do one of the big loops here in the park. My legs are still a little tired from yesterday though. My whole body's actually tired. I woke up late this morning, but it's all right. Still getting it in. And another beautiful day. But today I'm actually running without any headphones. I gotta start doing it a little bit more since race day is coming up and it's good to condition yourself to get used to running without them. Since I obviously can't wear them on race day. I was doing these runs a lot without headphones towards the beginning of training. But lately, I've been listening to podcasts and just music just to enjoy it more. However, I feel like I've been taking in so much information lately from learning and just a bunch of other stuff that my brain and my thoughts feel like they've been going at like 100 miles an hour. So I figured this morning was a good opportunity on this run to kind of just turn things off, not bring any noise or distractions in and just process everything I've got going on in my head right now. And it's all good things, but sometimes you need to allow yourself and your brain the space to just sort through things, process everything you've been taking in, just slow it down a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do on this run today. But a beautiful day, it's like 70 degrees out, and let's have a good run. So yesterday I was telling you guys about the Advocare, uh, sometimes it's hard to talk when you're running, but the Advocare O2 Gold, which really helps your, bottle, your body utilize oxygen in a more efficient way. And one of the ways that, like I mentioned, that it benefits me, it helps me a lot, is taking deeper breaths. Whether I'm cycling, running, swimming, I just feel like I'm not as out of breath and I can really control my breathing a little bit better. So I actually took one this morning because I haven't taken one in probably like two and a half months or so. And it's pretty crazy seeing the difference. Like once you take one, you usually want to take it like 30 minutes before you go work out. So I took one this morning and my breathing has felt so much more controlled. It's pretty crazy. I highly recommend ordering some if you feel like you struggle with getting your breathing under control at times. You will definitely notice a difference. And no, I'm not like sponsored or anything. You know, this stuff just helps me out. So hopefully it'll help you guys out too. But yeah, I highly recommend. I'll actually put a link to this stuff to their website and the product in the description down below. All right, one hour complete, 7.34 miles. My average pace was 8.11. I thought it was gonna be a little bit better than that. Good run overall. I definitely pushed myself a little bit more on this run than I did for last Thursday's run, so that's good. Really, like like I mentioned last week, I'm paying less attention to like what the actual sets are during the workout. I'm just focusing on my effort and just getting in the time. Thursdays, I'm outside, but I'm pushing the pace a little bit harder, pushing myself a little bit harder. And then Sundays are the long endurance runs, and those are the ones where I gotta try to stay in zone two the whole time, but good run overall. Also, I wanted to say, there's a, there's a lot of people that commented on last week's video that they were happy to see I'm okay, I'm not dead on the side of the street somewhere. So, <laughs> I appreciate everyone who commented saying, you know, they were happy to see me back at training. It does mean a lot. It's cool knowing I have support from a lot of you guys. And a lot of you guys, I know you're also training for something right now. So let me know how training's going. Because as you know, I burned out a couple of weeks ago and we're getting into the hotter part of the year. Training can be tough. So hopefully training is going well for you guys. Just keep pushing even when it's hard and take a break if you need to, you know? 
we don't have to do this stuff. Most of us are signing up for this stuff because we want to have fun. So just enjoy it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, um, it's actually Monday, and this past weekend did not go as planned when it came to training. Um, I didn't feel too well, to be honest, so I didn't do my long bike ride on Saturday. And then yesterday was Sunday, and I tried to get out there and do my run. I did a little over four miles, and I felt terrible the whole time. I just wasn't feeling that great, to be honest. I'm still not feeling that great right now. My throat is a little sore. My average pace yesterday was, it was like right under 10 minutes too, which if you guys have been watching me train, then you know that that is not where my average pace has been. Um, so I reached about four and a half miles or so. I don't remember exactly what it was. I was like, I, my body's just not feeling it. So, and I didn't want to push it even more. Um, so I just ended up stopping. And then Barry ended up meeting me in the park with Lucky and we just hung out for a few, but I had to like tell myself, Ashton, you gotta like listen to your body here because the last time you tried to push it, it just made things even worse. So I'll be honest, I'm not happy where I'm at uh, fitness wise right this minute. You know, I'm officially less than five weeks out from Lake Placid. Um, and again, I'm not where I would was hoping that I would be. I was hoping that I would be in my prime right now, but you kind of just gotta go with the punches and and just kind of keep going. So this is actually an active recovery week coming up. Tomorrow I have a swim, but then I'll start filming again. Usually I'll, I pick back up on Wednesday when it comes to filming. But yeah, I'm just, you know, all I can do is all I can do. And I'm trying not to beat myself up about it. I have my half Ironman in Pennsylvania, not this weekend, but the following weekend. And so that's gonna be a real true test to see where I'm at. You know, I feel like we all show up differently on race day though, like we have a lot more adrenaline. There's just, you just, there's something, there's something in the water, I guess you could say on race day that you you just push harder than you're expecting your body would be able to. And so that's what I'm hoping happens with me come uh, race day. Um, not only for the half merit, the half marathon, the half Ironman, but for the full Ironman next month. But yeah, so I'm really kind of taking time today, taking in some electrolytes, just trying to, help my body recover feel better and uh yeah i got this active recovery week this week and then yeah next week's the half iron man so although this past weekend the training wasn't what i was really hoping it would was going to be and i didn't really do a whole lot at all um you know just gotta keep putting one foot in front of the other not beat myself up about it and um yeah again you know i I have put in so much time over the past couple of months when it comes to training that I feel like I, I'll end up being fine on race day. But of course, you know, when we're going through this and we're not where we thought we were going to be, like you start having doubts. It's so easy for that to be the case. But um, just try to take it day by day. That's what I'm trying to do. And, and yeah, we'll see how race day goes. But sorry this video wasn't as long as it normally is since there wasn't a ton of training this past week compared to a normal week. Um, but yeah, gonna try to be back at it this week. That's all I can do. And uh, I will see you guys next week for another week of training.